Hello there, this is Dave Allen, and today we're going to have a look at Sketchbook, which is by Autodesk. And it's a really good application, which I really, really like. And there's a whole lot of things to like about it. For instance, let's have a look at the brushes. Lots of different brushes are available. We can scroll this across here and see all the different ones. We've got loads of different availabilities there brushes and pencils and all sorts of things and erasers and whatever. So, for instance, I want to write with a brush that is like a pen of some sort. The opacity is set and the radius is set. I can change the radius there, look, and it shows up on the bit at the top. That's quite good. And then what else can we do with this? I can go to the settings here. Now, with the settings here, not only can you change the radius and the opacity, so you've got a minimum and maximum radius. So that's if you want to have a bit of a... Uh, a, a start when it's thinner and it goes goes thicker so let's just change that so it starts really thin and it goes quite a bit fatter you see how the way that works and also the same with the opacity as well so it uh, changes there and that's uh, quite a good thing there so we've got full opacity at the center part of it so basically it gives us a nice nice line indeed and we can change spacing as well so this basically is going to give us a sort of dotted sort of line let me just change the colour on that so we can see a little bit better. Let's come out of that. Brushes there. And we'll go to colours and change it to a dark colour so we can see the colours better when we're having a look at the brushes. So back into the brushes again. And you see we've got a darker brush there now. So with the spacing, we've got this here we can change. That gives us our noise and uh, sort of gives us a different sort of shapes of brush, dots instead of a full sort of thing. And we can change the angle and we can change the jitter. The jitter, what it does, it basically sort of puts some different sort of uh, spacings in there and changes it as it goes. And we can change the uh, squash of it. So you can just take a standard brush and you can change it and make it your own. So I've gone back into this one here, the standard one there, and going to change the radius again. And you can see where I've made the changes to it, it kind of works better when I thin it with a thinner line. Let's see what this brush actually looks like on the page. So there's you go, there's our brush look. Now we can get to the... Um, tools this way as well by pressing that wee button at the bottom there and from that I can choose which brush I want so maybe I want to use the airbrush now and I'll click on that one there and that gives me the airbrush and then I want to go into this bit here change some of the opacity and the radius and again go into the settings and change the uh, spacings on it again that's given me a funny sort of uh, dotted sort of line there and I can also change the noise on it as well so that's the minimum and maximum of the opacity, so we've changed that uh, opacity down on that one there, and down on that one there, and on the radius, let's start it off with a small sort of first point start, and do it like that. We can change this here as well by pressing those wee buttons there. Those are some standard ones. This one's given a soft edge, and this one's given a harder edge. So let's go for the soft edge on that one there, and let's see what the line looks like. Didn't get a very good line on that there because the uh, Nexus 7 moved as I was drawing that. So let's use the backspace key and try again. So that was the first part of this series, looking at what we can do with Autodesk Sketchbook. And have a look at the next ones in the series to see what else we can do to set it up and do some drawings. Bye bye now.